Okay, so this is now going to be just one additional little feature function I'm going to show you guys to add on to these grid drum beats that we've created, okay? And that is something called a spread. Now, this is kind of like making an array that is filled with like ones and zeros. So a one it will play and a zero it won't, but it's actually going to make a uh, a ring which is basically like an array that's full of trues and falses okay which will when used in an if statement if there's a true in a certain spot then it will play something and if it's not it won't okay um, so I'm gonna jump to a different window for a second here so I'm gonna make a live loop I'm gonna call it SP for spread I got do I got end okay and actually while I'm thinking about that I'm gonna very quickly here do this okay so I'm gonna write puts I'm gonna make a spread so to write spread, you just write spread like that. And inside you have regular parentheses. So spread takes two arguments, okay? So um, the first is how many beats you want to actually have something play on. So this would be like the number of trues inside of your ring. So I'm gonna start with like four, just to show you something here. And then the second one is how many beats do you want that to be distributed over, okay? So in this case, I'm saying I want four trues, but how many beats are there gonna be? How many spots in my array will there be? So I'm gonna go with 16 to keep it consistent here, okay? So this is saying uh, over 16 spaces, I want you to evenly distribute four trues and the rest will be falses. So if I run this, you see printed out into the console here, okay, there is a ring and it goes true, false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false, 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 true, false, false, false. Okay, so if we take this back to the drum grid for a second, uh, I'm gonna clear it. It's basically saying you have 16 squares, fill those squares in, I want four squares filled in. So one, two, three, four, okay? And that is what this uh, spread is basically done. It's spread them out over 16 beats and it's evenly distributed them, okay? So if I were to now take this spread, okay, and put it in my live loop, and let me un comment here. I am now going to write sample uh, and I'll just do like electric beep. Why not? And then I'm going to use another if statement, but this time instead of seeing if something is equal or not, I'm just going to say if spread and actually I'll just take my spread here for 16. Okay. And then I just need to tick. Okay. Because every time through and I'm going to do again, sleep 0 0.2.5 so I can bring this into the other one I have going. So it's going to go through the entire ring. Okay. It's going to tick through and basically saying if true. Okay. So if it's true, do this because we know conditional statements happen. Uh, if something is true, it'll do it. If it's false, it will not. So in this case, it's just going through. Is it true or is it false? If it's true, it's going to make that sound. So I'm going to keep that BPM consistent as well. So here we go. Okay, so we're hearing it go. Now let's say I changed it to eight, okay? Which if I looked here, that would be like every other one here. So now let's hear it. So now it feels like it's going faster, okay? So that's all well and good, but here's the fun thing about a spread, okay? You can now put in some sort of uneven number, like 11, and it is not gonna obviously evenly distribute it, but it's going to create some sort of interesting rhythmic pattern where some are filled in and some are not. Okay, so let's say I do like 11 here. And actually, I'm going to change this to 11. Let me just comment this out so we can put this in. So here I see true, false, then true, true, false, then true, true, false, true, true, false, true, true, false, true, true. All right, so some sort of pattern. Now, I could have maybe come up with that, but the spread just, again, sort of takes that thinking work out of it for me, and I can just kind of play around. So here we have this. Okay. So that's how spread works, okay? And you can play around with this number. You can play around with this number. Uh, I will say that if you're working with other live loops to definitely keep them consistent and divisible by one another. So 16 I'm using because I have 16 beats here. I'm gonna now switch back over to my other buffer here where I also have all these 16 dot times do happening. And now let me just put the amp up a little bit on this and you can sort of see how it connects with what's going on. <laughs> a little too loud there. Let's go again. Okay, 
So I probably wouldn't leave the amp like that, but that's just to emphasize it, okay? So that just gives a little more interesting rhythmic stuff that you can add on to your drum beats, okay? Now, I could also do this with play. So say I wanna add like some sort of bass sound to what I'm doing here. So maybe I go with like 50, okay? And then I run it. Okay, I'm actually gonna make the release slightly shorter. Okay, maybe even like three, so I get a little quicker sound here. All right, so now this is generating some interesting rhythmic patterns here without me having to really do much or create like a bunch of sleep values in a ring or something. So this just gives me some interesting patterns because it's, adding rests and it's uh, saying some things will play, some things will not. So it's arranging these sounds over time in a way that uh, I don't really have to do much thinking. So let me just show you one more trick here. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take whatever this number is, 16. I'm gonna do a 16 dot times uh, do. I'm gonna do an end here. I'm gonna choose a synth, uh, which maybe will be, I'm gonna make like a bass line here. So maybe this chip bass. And then I'm also gonna choose a random, seed okay uh, i'll just do like 333 here okay but i also then am going to make instead of just a note i'm going to play a scale okay i'll make it maybe even a little lower since i'm doing bass so maybe like 40 and then i'm going to do like a minor pentatonic scale okay uh i need to dot tick this as well or actually no i'm going to dot choose okay because i want to randomly choose notes from this scale. And so this is just gonna generate a bass line for me, but in an interesting rhythmic pattern instead of just note over note over note. that to me I, I love that maybe I want to change it maybe I want to make this like 13 maybe I want to make the note maybe I'll do like a, a even higher note maybe let's see what happens okay even I'll change the random seed as well no key in there I could sort of double up. I could maybe do 32. Uh, so it's gonna be a long, longer pattern of notes. So instead of uh, that 16 notes, it's gonna do 32. But keep in mind, it's only playing 13 notes out of those 16. So it's not playing a 16 notes. Some of those notes are rests, which are covered by this if statement. <laughs> is something else so sort of this method of using these if statements along with the sample or the play and sometimes it plays and sometimes it doesn't can give us much more interesting rhythmic sort of things without having to crunch a lot of numbers and do the math on sleeps and making these weird sleep rings and make sure they all add up okay so uh that's all for this week so i want to see some of these drum grid array type loops going on here i'd love to see a spread some sort of melody or bass line um i did make a reference sheet that will sort of cover all these arrays and there'll be spreads in there as well. The checklist is pretty straightforward. So just make a couple of those live loop drum beats, okay? So some of these array stored variables, the time with the counter, uh, the if statement. I also had meant to add to this as I'm looking at it. So two different samples playing. Okay, so that used in here by the ones and the two, okay? Uh, and again, use the, the beat making in Ableton Live to sort of test out some beats and see if you can recreate it. Uh, and then submit those for the music engagement assignment for this week, okay? Really looking forward to it. This is definitely a little more of a, a advanced technique here. So hoping you can make the most of it and have some fun.